Hello, today we'll be looking at another similar story. It's the story of the announcements of the angel Gabriel to Mary and to Zechariah. So this is the two stories. Bear in mind that we are doing the similar stories today, meaning that we'll not be going a lot into details. So make sure you download this worksheet and you follow along this video as you write it in. Now, Zechariah and Mary, these two stories are both from Luke chapter 1. We'll be looking through these uh, six parts, which is the background information, the location when the angel gave his message, the message itself and how was Zechariah's and Mary's respond to the message and the last two is how did the angel respond in the end and what happened finally okay so firstly we look at Zechariah there are three things you need to note about Zechariah number one he is a priest he is a priest of the order of Abijah also take note that Elizabeth too is from a priestly family although we don't know which family she is from Secondly, Zechariah and Elizabeth both are said to have lived good lives in God's sight and they obeyed the law, they obeyed all the commands. However, in contrast, they had no children and both were very old. Uh, you can watch another video to see the situation at that time about all these differences when it comes to the problem of barren or having no children, okay? Now, where was this message given? It was given on the right side of the altar. This altar is in the holy place. If you look at your textbook in the temple, you find a holy place, you will see an altar there. The angel Gabriel stood at the right side of the altar when the incense was burnt. So this is in the temple of Jerusalem. Now for Mary, there are two things about Mary. First, she's a young woman. And this young woman is promised in marriage. Uh, watch another video about what this cultural meaning of betrothal is, okay? Uh, and Mary is betrothed to Joseph and Joseph is the descendant of King David. This is quite interesting because Jesus is called the son of David, right? So where was the message given? It was given in a town in Galilee, in a city or in a town called Nazareth. You will remember that a few times Jesus is called by Jesus the Nazarene because he grew up in the town of Nazareth. This is his hometown. Now, the message was brought to Zechariah. There are two parts to it. The first part is five things that's being mentioned to Zechariah. And the next part is the eight things that's being explained about John the Baptist. So you will see the five things. The angel says, don't be afraid, Zechariah. And secondly, God has heard your prayer. In other words, Zechariah and Elizabeth might have been praying. They might have been praying for a child and finally, God hears their prayer. Number three, he said that your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. You are to name this son as John. Number four, how glad and happy you will be. And number five, how happy many others will be when he is born. Okay, so the eight things about John, uh, please also write it in. I won't elaborate. Uh, there are other videos about this. Uh, you can look at the answering context questions. We have some, we have a video that has explained this in the same series. Now, uh, you will have to write it in because when you write it in, it will help you remember the differences and separate these stories apart, okay? Next for Mary, the angel says five things to her. Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Don't be afraid, Mary, for God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. Between these two, there are a bit of a similarity, like they both said, don't be afraid uh, about the pregnancy and giving birth to a son. Okay, this part very similar, but you look at the ne next part about Jesus, it's very different from what is said about 
John the Baptist. Okay, so copy this, pause this video, write it all down in your worksheet so that you are able to do a better revision. Now let's move on. I want to look more in the main contrast in this story. How did they respond to the message that was given to them? Zechariah's response was this. He asked a question, but the question was one of doubt. He did not believe. Mary also asked a question, but her question was one of curiosity. She wanted to know how. Zechariah did not believe and is in essence asking the angel says, prove it to me. Give me proof that I can trust you. I can believe your message. Mary is different. Mary already accepted the message, but she wants to know how it will happen. And if you look at their, their response and finally the angel's response, it will be very clear. If you look at Zechariah, you will see that she he didn't believe. Okay, he is of unbelief and is asking for proof. Therefore, the angel's answer is, this should be proof for you. I am Gabriel, I stand, others will bow, I stand in the presence of God. Isn't that proof enough? Secondly, God is the one who sent me to tell you this message. If God sent me, isn't that proof enough for you? Why do you want to ask for more proof? Therefore, because you didn't believe, which even though you don't believe will come true at the right time, but because you did not believe, you will be unable to speak. He was being given a punishment. You will remain mute or silent until the day this promise, my promise to you comes true. So when you see this, you can feel that the angel is trying to say, why are you asking for proof? Okay, so it's very different from Mary. In Mary's case, she also asked a virgin, how then can this be? I am a virgin, how can this be? But she wanted to know how. And in the angel's answer, he explained this is how. This is how, number one, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. You don't need a man. Number two, God's power will rest upon you. This is how. And because the Holy Spirit and God's power, therefore, the holy child that will be born is not the son of man. The child that is born will be called the son of God. So the angel explained how, helping uh, Mary's questions of curiosity. Okay, then he elaborated. Remember your relative Elizabeth? It is said that she cannot have children, but she is now six months pregnant even though she is very old and the conclusion is for there is nothing that god cannot do six things okay so write it in the paper as well and finally you will see that when zachariah came out he couldn't speak but when mary's ending she said this fantastic prayer i am the lord's servant may it happen to me as you have said Okay, so if we look more um, an overview of these two announcements, you will see that even though their response are very similar, they say very similar. Uh, Zechariah said that, how then can this be? I'm old, my wife is old. Mary says, uh, I'm a virgin, how can this be? So basically sounds alike, but it's very different because one is asking for a proof, proof. the other one is asking for a how. And therefore, the angel's response was quite of a punishment, of a rebuke, whereas the res response to Mary was more of an assurance, confirming that this is how it will happen, okay? Okay, so that's it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. See you next time.